Hey you, how's it hanging? Today I thought I would just sit down and sort of do a video about things that I've been loving and like that I'm interested in and that just things that have been in my mind. Hopefully you guys can relate to some of it and or you just find this video interesting and if you do then give it a thumbs up and maybe I'll do more of these sort of what's on my mind videos in the future. I'm going to apologize in advance if I'm really rambling because I'm just like <laughs> let's talk about everything. Let's talk about the first thing and the first sort of life update. I've officially been in Melbourne for over a year now. Woo! It's so crazy to think that I got on a plane already like June last year and like I've sort of like started my life here. Even though I wish like I could do a lot more to make me feel like I'm certain about my move, I feel like moving is definitely a process. I'm happy to talk about my experience and like my move and things that I've learned. I definitely feel like I could share a lot of my experience. So if you guys want to know about that, then definitely let me know below and I will make that a whole different topic on its own. I recently saw the movie Baby Driver and the interesting thing about this is that I chose that movie. I definitely judge movies by the advertising and like the cover but I saw the trailer and I was like oh yeah it looks like fun like I want to go see it. Went to go and see this movie and I freaking loved it. Movies like that are 100% my guilty pleasure. Like I just live off that adrenaline. Seeing guys drive like that is honestly so freaking sexy. Like. Oh, I love it. In reality though, I am the biggest baby. Like if someone speeds, I'm like, <laughs> stop, slow down, oh, baby. So I just can't deal with it. But watching those movies, I'm just like, yes, yes, kiss the heart, yes. I love it. Like, honestly, if you're into action movies like that, then I definitely recommend it. That kind of a general and it's like, I'm all like, I'm all about it. When I was in high school, most of my friends were guys and all of them were into cars and talking about cars and racing and honestly I could think of nothing more boring. Like I don't give a shit if you can fix the blah blah on the no nah, no nah, or if you drive blah blah blah. But movies like this I was like yes, he just drives, he's sexy, he's good at driving, he can escape a situation like a freaking boss. If he can reverse drive and and <laughs> me describing how to move a car and I like it oh my god so the other day um, me and my friend were driving and we noticed that the you know there's handles in cars um, by every door why is there a handle by the driver's door their hands are on the wheel you know one of the airlines saved over like $40,000 a year because they removed one olive from every passenger's meal. I feel like having those hand rails in the, the driving seat, maybe they should remove that. Maybe they would save a bit of money because it seems unnecessary. <laughs> Just these are the thoughts I told you. These are things that are on my mind. So the next thing I want to talk about is my current obsession with mystery murders and unsolved crimes. Yes, these topics and stories are super creepy, but at the same time I just find them so interesting. Human psychology has always been a topic of discussion that blows my mind. It's like I honestly feel like I need to go back to university and study human psychology and I honestly think I will one day because I'm so interested in it. I feel like to understand or to try and understand so important. I mean you're never going to understand someone who's got some really crazy or sickening thoughts or does do crazy things but a lot of these unsolved crimes are more about how a situation happens and they escalate and it just becomes a really bad situation and it's so sad. I just find going through all the evidence and like picking up all these pieces you know having your opinion on who might have done it so interesting because I think ultimately the interesting part of this topic, which is also very sad, um, is trying to find justice for these people and their families. And yeah, that's what keeps you sort of watching. It's sort of like SVU, like you always want a happy ending, even though you can't have happy endings because there's such a tragedy. I find like it's more you being interested to find a better result, like to find 
justice. Growing up, like we would always watch shows like SVU and like Criminal Minds. So I think there's, it's always been like, it's a topic of interest like to anyone, even though it's creepy, it's still interesting. And I think um, the first time I sort of like was reintroduced to it was when there was like an actual two part documentary on investigators reinvestigating all the evidence from the Jean Benet Ramsey o reopening the case. And they really sum it down to a few suspects and um, going through all that evidence, you sort of make your own conclusions of who did it. And I just find that so interesting. I love like being like part of the investigation and feeling like you're also helping these people get some justice. But if you're interested in like unsolved crimes and mystery, missing people etc then there is a youtuber called Kendall Ray and she has heaps of videos one is about John Benet Ramsey one is about like Madeline McCain like all the well-known missing people cases so if you enjoyed this topic then I definitely recommend heading over to her channel and having a look at those videos after um, watching some of her videos I was quite interested in like knowing about some of the most well-known unsolved crimes one of them blew my mind which I'll just tell you about now was back in 1982 um, the company Johnson & Johnson made the product Tylenol, which is a, like a household drug for pain and headaches. Um, in New Zealand and Australia, we call it Panadol. Anyway, it's a household drug and you can buy it sort of at the grocery store or whatever. Um, most people have it in their home. A kid wasn't feeling well and the parent was like, oh, go take a Tylenol and you'll feel better. And a few hours later, that kid passed away. And then a few other people started to pass away as well. And they found that the common denominator was that all these people had taken Tylenol. And so the company Johnson & Johnson had to recall this drug from all its retailers, which recalling from retailers can be quite easy. Like I'm sure some places would be quite difficult, but it's more difficult to try and recall a product once it's in consumers hands. People were still dying because they were taking this drug not knowing that it had been um, tampered with. It wasn't a manufacturing um, process error. It was actually somewhere between manufacturing and getting delivered to the retailers that someone was taking the drugs and tampering with them and replacing the drug with cyanide. People were having these pills and dying, which is just so crazy to me that you would take a Panadol and be dead. Like you just, would never think that that would be the your the mistake that killed you. It's unsolved because no one knows who did it and who tampered with the drugs, but ultimately they had to recreate the product so that no one could um, break open into the capsule. A positive that came out of all of this is that um, they established the law that um, tampering with any consumer products would be a felony in America. I was telling my friend this and she was telling me, yeah, in America during Halloween, um, once kids have got their candies, they're not allowed to eat them. They have to go get them checked because people can put shit in kids' candy. Oh my god. What is wrong with the world? When she moved to New Zealand and people would just give you like gummy snakes straight out of the bag. She was like, oh my god, that would never, ever happen in America. There's fucking crazy people in the world. I don't want to leave my apartment ever again. And I will not eat a Snickers bar. Speaking of crazy people, the company Nas Cosmetics, which is a makeup brand, has decided to go backwards and test their products on animals. They were originally a cruelty-free brand and have been for so many years. They have decided to trade in China, which has laws that means that they have to legally test their products on animals if they're going to sell in those markets. Like I just don't understand why people think it's okay to test products on animals. With technology expanding and growing um, and knowing ingredients and just having completely new ingredients that are organic and vegan and all of that, that there are companies that are 100% cruelty free and vegan. Why are there still companies that are not for any of you that don't support cruelty free brands. There are so, so many. There are so many that are still affordable. Um, if you go to the supermarket, you can choose, I'm sure there's one or two brands out of the many that are actually cruelty free. Type into Google, is this company cruelty free? You will discover whether it is or isn't. And you can stop supporting companies that test on animals. And I would encourage it. And I'm happy to maybe in the future make a video of all the makeup I have that is cruelty free if that will help you out. I personally would rather not wear any makeup than support a company that kills animals for me to have good looking eyelashes. Like I would not feel beautiful knowing that 
something died so that I could feel pretty. So unnecessary. I just don't agree with it whatsoever. And the last thing I want to talk about today is something positive, which is The Bachelorette. <laughs> so great. If you have been watching Rachel's season, then so have I. I haven't been able to catch up on the last episode, but I'm 100% a Bachelor Nation participant and I love watching The Bachelorette. I'm going to keep watching and I hope you are too so we can talk more about it. Anyway, that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed me just like rambling about what's been going on in my life. Definitely let me know what your thoughts on some of these topics are below and tell me who you think murdered John Bonet Ramsey. Let's just have a chat. Let's just have a little chit chat. Go watch Baby Driver. Tell me what you think. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.